Hey guys, I'm Andy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to scan with the BLK360 with the Field360 app on the iPad. Now I'm using my iPad for this, but you can also use Field360 on your Android tablet, and soon you'll be able to use it on your phone. So I'm already connected to the BLK360's Wi-Fi, uh, so I can go right into uh, Field360, and right off the bat, you're gonna see a, a thumbnail for each different project you have. I've only got one, uh, but you can create a new one by pressing this little plus symbol at the bottom. Uh, you can name your job. I'm gonna keep it job number two. Uh, and then you can take a picture uh, of your site, uh, just so you know um, what, job you're, uh, what job you're using. Uh, so this picture will become the thumbnail for this project. I'm gonna save that. When I go into the job, uh, you don't, I don't have any scans in here yet, but I can take my first one now. So I'm gonna set my scanner up uh, in the middle of the room here. Uh, now at the bottom, uh, there's three little buttons. Uh, the leftmost one is a little target, and that's how I start a new scan. Uh, so I have uh, a bunch of different uh, options here. I can title uh, the scan. I'm gonna name it House. Um, and here I have uh, the different scan uh, settings. Um, I have four different buttons. The first one is the scan density setting, so I can set this uh, low, medium, or high. And you can see uh, a little uh, time indicator that will show you how long the scan is going to take depending on these settings. Uh, so um, the next button is imagery. So I can turn imagery off completely if I don't need imagery. The point cloud won't be colorized, but if you don't need it, you can really cut down your scan time considerably um, by doing a 40 second scan if you wanted. Uh, for this project, I definitely need imagery. And uh, the next button is the HDR. I can toggle HDR on or off, uh, depending on my conditions. Um, and if HDR is toggled off, I can also choose to do an automatic flash, uh, turn flash on, or turn it off completely. Um, for this project, uh, because I have pretty bright light coming in through the windows, uh, I'm gonna turn HDR on, and I'm going to do a, a medium density scan. Uh, once that's all set, I can click play, uh, and it'll, it'll start the scan. All right, once the scan finishes up, all the data is gonna transfer over to the iPad. Uh, and right off the bat, you can see uh, kind of a bird's eye view of the scan data. Uh, if I tap on this scan, I can go into 360. Now I can see uh, the panoramic image that the scanner took. Uh, and then if I tap 3D, now I can see uh, an initial rendering of the 3D scan data. Uh, so I can navigate around um, this isn't the, the final uh, full quality data, uh, but you, all the full quality data will be transferred over when you transfer this project to Register360. Um, so this looks good, I like my settings. Uh, now I can go back and I can start my next scan. Uh, so now what I need to do is uh, move my scanner to the second spot here. Um, I'm going to tap on the target again to start a new scan. Uh, you can see that it used uh, my initial name, house, and then it added a one, so it's gonna uh, iterate through um, the name if you want. Uh, I like those settings, so I'm gonna keep them the same, and I'm gonna press play to start another scan. All right, so the second scan just finished up and transferred over. You can see I have two different setups here. Um, initially, they're just gonna be dropped in the middle of my coordinate system. Uh, at zero, zero, but I can uh, tap on one of them and I can drag them around. Uh, I can tap on this uh, circle and kind of orient them in the right way. Uh, so I'm gonna tap on this one and see if I can uh, somewhat align the two. Uh, now I wanna uh, register these two together. So uh, if I tap on this uh, right hand uh, button down here, that's the link button. Uh, so it's already ha it already has one setup highlighted. I'm going to tap on the, uh, the second one. It's going to give me a dotted link line between them. I'm going to tap Start Alignment, and you'll see uh, one scan is orange and one scan is blue. So um, you can make sure that they're uh, pretty well lined up. And then I'm going to tap Optimize, and that's going to uh, snap the, the scans together in the right orientation. Um, I can also check to make sure that um, these are oriented um, vertically uh, using the, the button at the top here. Uh, everything looks good, so I'm going to tap Create Link. Now it's going to lock those together into one bundle. Uh, so you can see if I rotate this, those two scans are, are just locked together. 
Now if I tap on the bundle uh, and I tap 3D, now I can see um, the whole 3D point cloud bundle. Uh, I can navigate around to make sure I've captured what I need to. The next thing I want to talk about are tags. Tags are a way of adding non-scan data to your scan project. Uh, so you can see that the bottom button in the middle uh, is, is the tags button and I can add tags in a bunch of different formats. Uh, so I can add a, an image, a video, a file from my uh, iPad, I can add an audio recording or just simple text. Uh, so in this instance uh, the client wants to uh, put a specific hook uh, on a specific point on the wall. Uh, so what I can do is take a, an image of this hook and now I can attach this to any point in the scan. So I can drop my crosshairs right where they want to put it, tap attach, and now that image is attached to the point cloud so when I move this project over to Register360 on the computer, I'll be able to pull up uh, that, that picture. Sometimes you might not want to use your iPad for the entire project. What you can do is set the push button scan settings so you can continue your project just by pressing the button to take each scan. So if I already know what scan settings are working for this project, what I can do is uh, tap on this little eye at the top and I can say configure power button. Um, now I can go through, I can, I'm using medium uh, scan density uh, and HDR images. Uh, now I can also um, choose the scan delay. So this is how long the scanner will wait for you to get out of the way uh, before starting to scan. Uh, I can save these settings. Now I don't need to use my iPad. I can go through, uh, move the scanner to my next position. Um, press the button and it'll take the next scan. All right, so that scan just finished up. Um, I only did the one scan, but you can go through and take as many scans as you want and all of that data will always be saved to the internal memory on the BLK360. Uh, then afterwards, you can go ahead and sync all that data back to the iPad and register it before you transfer it over to your computer. So once I'm all done scanning and I'm ready to uh, sync all the data back to my iPad, I can go ahead, uh, turn my iPad back on and uh, connect to the scanner again. Um, and I'm gonna go down and uh, just as I'm starting a new scan, um, but this time I'm gonna go over to the scanner data tab. So now I can see all the data, uh, all the scans that are currently saved on the uh, internal memory of the scanner. Uh, in this case, I just took the one scan, uh, so I'm gonna select that one. Uh, and now I'm gonna, up at the top right, uh, tap this download button. So now that scan is going to come over uh, to the iPad and then I can register it just like I have done uh, so far with my project. So when that scan finishes transferring over you can see that it's dropped in the middle of my coordinate system again. Um, I can tap it, um, drag it over, rotate it around to uh, get it roughly in the right spot and then I'm going to tap the link button, uh, tap my second setup and um, here I'm just going to tap optimize, it snaps it right into place and I can click create link. Uh, now I have a full bundle of these three scans um, all locked together. Alright, so I can see that uh, all my data looks really good. Uh, so that means I'm all done here on site. Uh, the next step will be to transfer this project over to Register360 once I get back to the office. All right, so I'm back in the office and I've got my entire project on the iPad in Field360, but the next step is to move this data over to Register360 on my computer. Uh, so what I need to do is make sure that both my computer and the iPad are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And then in Field360, I'm going to tap on this little eye at the top right and check Sync Server. So this is what I need to do when I'm transferring data over to the computer. Then when I go into Register360 on the computer, I'm going to create a new project. And then I'm going to click on this Field360 Import button. Um, so you'll see you have to make sure that this IP address is exactly as it's written uh, on your iPad. You can even test con the connection to see that um, the iPad and the computer can, um, can see each other. And then I'm going to click Add to Project. So then it's going to bring in just a, a quick preview of each of the projects that you have on Field360 on the iPad. Uh, so I can see that this is, this is a job that I've, I did earlier. Um, and I can see over here on job two, this is the job that I want to import today. I don't need to import the, the other job, so what I can do is uncheck that one. 
Um, and now I can hit import, and it's gonna import all that data to the computer. All right, so once that finishes up, you can see that it's imported the data. I can click OK. And now I can see that all my data is here. Uh, so I can um, go into my bundle cloud and zoom around and now I can see the full quality data. Um, I can even see this uh, tag that I put in. Uh, I can click on uh, this button here and it brings up the picture that I took in the field. So now I can go ahead and export this out to AutoCAD or Revit or whatever other software that I want to use this data in. So Field360 is a great tool to use on site when you're uh, controlling your BLK360 uh, and it really speeds up your workflow because you can have your entire project registered together so that there's essentially no work to do once you get back to the office. If you're already using Register360, the Field360 app is free. You can download it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, if you're not using Register360, you can download a free trial. I'll put a link in the description so you can go ahead and try it out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.